Welcome back. How about a career video? Been a while since I did a career video. I've made up two boards of career videos. This is the first one that I'll probably do a video for tomorrow. Uh, so I want to talk about Jason Pominville. Now, Pominville, I did double check to make sure I hadn't already done a career video on him. I was pretty sure. Uh, Pominville, uh, his career ended. He retired in 2020. June of 2020, it kind of came out that he wasn't going to play again in the NHL. But again, June of 2020, there's all kinds of other stuff going on. And so I didn't end up doing a career video at that point. Now, he's drafted 55th overall by Buffalo in 2001. Pretty solid draft pick, uh, considering that spot in the draft. He doesn't come up to play for Buffalo till 0304, and that's only for the single game. He didn't have a point that year, so not a whole lot to go on. Then, of course, the lockout took out the 0405 season. He might have played that year, but he does play 0506, plays 57 games, 18 goals, 12 assists, 30 points. Very solid numbers for a rookie. Uh, and then in the playoffs, more solid numbers. 18 games, 5 goals, 5 assists, 10 points. And he had the series clincher against Ottawa in the 06 playoffs. It was a shorthanded goal in overtime. That was an NHL first. Never been done before. I don't know if it's been done since. I'm going to say since it's such an obscure thing. Probably not. But for Pominville, uh, he becomes kind of a folk hero based on that. And I like Pominville. I like this compete level. I thought he was a solid player. I thought he was mildly underrated at times. 06 07, he has a really good year for Buffalo. 82 games, 34 goals, 34 assists, 68 points. In the playoffs, he adds four goals, six assists for 10 points in 16 games. Yes, the Buffalo Sabres at one point in time, which it doesn't feel to me like was that, that long ago, but it, it was, uh, they were pretty good. They were pretty good in the playoffs. They could get to that conference final. Uh, they'd been in the Stanley Cup final in 99, and so, yeah, they're still, you know, in, in that not quite contenders, but close category. Uh, 07, 08, 82 games, 27 goals, 53 assists, 80 points. Uh, he was third in Lady Bing voting that year. Uh, and for Pominville, he was, he was a gentlemanly player. Absolutely. So uh, finalist that year, he had Lady Bing votes in other seasons as well. Uh, 2008, 2009, 82 games for the Sabres, 20 goals, 46 assists, 66 points. Pretty reliable goal scorer throughout his career. Uh, the 20-plus goals being his wheelhouse, really. So 2009-2010, 82 games, 24 goals, 38 assists, 62 points. In the playoffs, 2 goals, 2 assists, 4 points in 6 games. Uh, Buffalo, uh, back in the playoffs again in 2010 and 2011, 73 games, 22 goals, 30 assists, 52 points. In the playoffs, 1 goal, 3 assists, 4 points in 5 games. So going into 2011-2012, he is named the team captain for the Buffalo Sabres. This was also a season in which he would play in his only All-Star game. Uh, 82 games, 30 goals, 43 assists, 73 points. But of course, it's Buffalo, and Buffalo going through their, their issues. And so eventually, Pominville ends up being traded. It's the lockout-shortened 2012-2013 season. Plays 37 games in Buffalo, 10 goals, 15 assists, 25 points. So he's on pace for 20 goals again if it was a full season, which it was not. On April the 3rd, he was traded with a 2014 fourth-round pick for a 2013 first, which was used to draft Zadorov, uh, a 2014 second, Matt Hackett, and Johan Larson. So he goes to Minnesota, and in Minnesota, he picks it up pretty quick. 10 games, 4 goals, 5 assists, 9 points. He does play two playoff games for Minnesota that year, does not record a point. So 2013-2014, his first full season in Minnesota, and he shows he's still got it. 82 games, 30 goals, 30 assists for 60 points. So again, really solid numbers there. In the playoffs, he has 13 games, 2 goals, 7 assists, 9 points. 2014-2015, a full 82-game season again. He was able to stay relatively healthy through most of his career. 18 goals, 36 assists, 54 points. In the playoffs, he adds 3 goals, 3 assists for 6 points in 10 games. Then, 2015-2016, still in Minnesota, the goal scoring drops off. 75 games, 11 goals, 25 assists, 36 points. So a pretty large drop off in his scoring numbers. But in the playoffs, 6 games, 4 goals, 3 assists, 7 points. So he showed up for the games there. 2016-2017 in what would be his final season in Minnesota, 78 games, 13 goals, 34 assists, 24 assists for 37 points. Apologies for that. That should be a 24. Now I'm going to use a different marker so it's going to look different. 
but people can just ignore that. It's still the same color, basically. Uh, but yeah, 37 points for him that year in the playoffs. He had one assist in five games. And then June the 30th, after that season's done, he's traded with a 2018 fourth uh, and Marco Scandella in exchange for a 2018 third round pick, Tyler Ennis and Marcus Foligno. So the Marcus Foligno trade being featured here, he goes back to Buffalo, where he should have been the whole time. But the 2017-2018 Buffalo Sabres, still in disarray in terms of their on-ice product. 82 games for Pominville that first season back, 16 goals, 18 assists, 34 points. Uh, the 2018-2019 season, what would end up being his final year, his numbers weren't bad. 73 games, 16 goals, 15 assists, 31 points. So again, uh, he did play, not professionally, but he was still out with beer leagues and things like that. And then it came out in, in 2020, mid-2020, that he wasn't planning on coming back and playing in the NHL. Now, he retires with 1,060 games played. So over 1,000 games, in part because he was able to stay healthy as long as he did. Because his career doesn't seem as long as some of the other players that I've, I've had on the board with over 1,000 games. 293 goals, so sadly doesn't end up reaching 300 goals. 434 assists, 727 points for Jason Pominville in his career in the playoffs. 81 games, 21 goals, 30 assists, 51 points. Sadly, because he only played in Buffalo and Minnesota, we know he doesn't have a cup ring to his name. Uh, but a couple of nice long runs at the start of his career in Buffalo, and I think he's pretty well thought of in the city of Buffalo. Uh, he was never really the reason a team didn't get over the top and, and, and win, but he was never really that key star player either. He was just a very reliable goal scorer, and I, I liked him. I liked his compete level. I thought he was a good player, and so there you go. Career video on Jason Pominville. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.